In this video, we will see how we can work with baseline. Once a project schedule is ready, it's very essential to save that project as a baseline project. Baseline essentially internally will store five things cost, work, duration, start date, and finish date. Now, why do you need to save a baseline? Once my raw plan is ready and I'm all set to kick it off, at a later stage I should know what was planned and what is current. If I want to know the variance between plan and actual, it is very important to save a baseline. Saving a baseline is actually a key step in working with project schedule. So first let's understand how a baseline can be saved. I will go to Tools, Tracking and I will choose Set Baseline. Just click on OK. Nothing happens to the existing project file. To see, to see the impact of the baseline, I will just go to Project, choose Project Information and click on Statistics. Currently. The baseline and the current values across start date, finish date, duration, work and cost are absolutely same. This is because we have not updated progress information or any kind of delays in our project. So project statistics is one place where you view the impact of baseline. Secondly, from the view menu, if I choose tracking Gantt, this view also allows me to see the impact of saving a baseline. If you see here carefully, for each activity now, I am able to see two bars, a black one and a red or blue depending upon the criticality. The black bar is always the baseline bar, that means my planned schedule. The red or the blue bar will show me the actuals. Demonstrate it further. Let's assume this activity called selection of internal auditors was planned to take one day. But in real life it is not taking one day, it is taking maybe three days. So I come here and I change duration to three. Just observe carefully as to what happens in the GAN chart. If you see in the GAN chart, the red bar increases its size and changes to 3 days duration. But the black bar is still consistent and remains to be of duration 1 day. Now I can very well see the variance. I can very well understand as to what I had planned and what is happening currently. If I now go and see project statistics, it will be very clearly seen that there is a variance of two days. If you would like to see baseline values for each and every task, then you can easily insert baseline columns. For example, I will insert baseline duration. So I have original plan duration and I have a current duration. So one was originally planned and saved as a baseline and three is actual or the current duration. So at any stage in your project if you would like to track progress in terms of current as to what was planned then baseline is very handy.